Okay guys, when you're in a high wind situation and you're setting up, you want your wing to be lengthwise in the direction of the wind. Because that way there, if you have a wing tip that folds over, that's all the drama that it's gonna be. It's not gonna yank you. Once you get clipped in, you're at the mercy of the wind gods. So again, by clipping in on this angle, you're not gonna be dragged. You're not gonna be pulled off of launch. You're not gonna have any drama. The worst case scenario is that wing tip there will fold over and you'll have to straighten it and continue on. And that's about it. It's also a really great way to sort your lines. And as you can see, the wind today is starting to pick up. People are getting set up and it's looking like a great cross country day. Let's enjoy. Okay guys, so as you're walking with your balled up wing, make sure that the brakes are in the hands so that when you lay it down, if it happens to inflate, you can kill it immediately. Okay guys, the reason why we're walking to the forward of the launch area is because we want a nice clean wind. I also want to position my body down in front of launch so when it does inflate, you'll be able to walk up the hill a little bit and depower the wing. The reason why we want to make sure that the wing doesn't inflate is so that you have total control when you put the A's in your one hand, the back risers in the other hand, and then you're ready to inflate with control. Okay, now I'm down into the launch position. I do have both brakes off correctly, and I'm now grabbing my A's with my left hand, and I'm grabbing my back risers with my right hand. Okay, once I'm confident with knowing that I've got both sets of lines just above the melons, all I wanna do at this point is open up the wing. Okay, so waiting for that next quality wind cycle to come up, all I'm gonna do is lean my body back into the wind and let the wind open up the wing. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that now. All we want to do is open up the wing. Here we go. So opening it up and with the back risers keeping it on the ground. And we're now ready to build a nice flat wall. Okay, even if your wing isn't exactly perfect in position, you're gonna use the wind to put it into the perfect position. Now the idea is that we want the wind to come straight up the slope. You can see that the windsock is suggesting that it's coming a little bit from the right of launch. So if I was to inflate my wing right now, I would expect it to jog to the right. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. So before I do that, of course I've got my brakes off in my correct hands. I'm gonna make sure I've got my A's clean to the wing. I'm going to make sure i got my back risers uh, clean to the wing as well with no brake lines through the back riser hands. And now I'm going to use this crosswind just to show you how it jogs into position. So once the wind is coming straight in, that will be the time to build the flat wall and get ready to launch. Those back risers are your best friend because they keep that wing on the ground, even in really, really strong conditions. Okay, as you can see, the wind sock is indicating that the wind is now coming straight up the hill. When I bring the wing up, it will jog into position where the wind is now coming essentially straight through my helmet to the center of the wing. Okay, I'm just confirming the wind direction. I'm giving my wing a little bit of a bounce and I'm getting comfortable with the strength of the wind. Okay, I'm in the final stages of getting ready to launch. When you see a high side, you walk towards the high side and that makes it perfectly flat. If the high side's on the left, you'd walk to the left. If the high side's on the right, you'd walk to the right. In any case, once I'm now ready to launch into launch position, the wing will pull me up the hill a little bit. I'll let it pull me up the hill a little bit. That'll help depower the wing. And 
When I'm ready to launch, I'll make sure there's no other pilots in the air. I'll bring the wing up and I will stabilize it. Okay, I see the beginning of a cycle. I bring my wing up. After building that nice flat wall, I stabilize, 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 turn and go. Leaning right forward through the risers, hands up behind you, keeping an even brake pressure. As you're getting seated, bring your hands around the front. That way there the wing flies straight off the hill and there's no jostle as far as pitch and roll. And you wanna make sure that you get well away from the hill before you get seated and then get comfortable. Okay, here it is again, waiting for the very beginning of a cycle. Just as it's starting to get strong, we are gonna inflate the wing. We're going to stabilize, we're going to turn, lean right forward through the risers, and off we go. Always being ready to run again a second time, because sometimes you might catch the side of the thermal in which you will have to run again because you're in the sink of that thermal. And be sure to keep your hand pressure the same as you're transitioning into flight. Keep that hand pressure the same. 